Ten years ago, we were treated to our first monster. Now, here we have the latest version. It's the S4R. There's a bit of an age issue going on here. I mean, I know that the Ducati Monster is a classic of modern bike design. And Ducati, better than anyone else, are able to breathe life back into ageing designs by just tweaking them subtly year on year. But really, isn't it time we saw a new one of these? I have lost count of the different monsters that have come and gone over the last 10 years. 600s, 750s, 900s, 1000s, S models, S4s, dark ones, light ones, the list is seemingly endless. So what's this one then? Well, it's an S4R, which means you get a natty paint job, you get a single-sided swinging arm, you get twin upswept cans, and you get the motor from the 996. But it's nothing new, which means you'll still find a chassis in here that is okay, but it's a little too low at the back, it's a little too long for this bike to really cut it as a modern sports machine. Obviously, this isn't meant to be a pure sports bike, but against the rest of the pack here, it is the hardest to hustle. They've all got sporting pretensions, and this is the one that's now looking out of its depth. Then there are the usual monster traits to wind you up too, like the heavy throttle, the gearbox that doesn't like neutral much, and the abject lack of a pillion seat, plus a new monster trait to wind you up, which comes courtesy of those dual cans, which mean you can never quite get your right foot on the peg properly. The Monster S4R isn't a bad bike, but it's not a great one anymore either. And in a class as tough as this, it's now left well out of contention for the top honours. Styling, eight out of 10. It's still an icon, but it's a bit old. Performance, seven out of 10. Not bad, but not a patch on anything else here. Practicality, five out of 10. Bearable one up, no good in town, not much good two up, not looking brilliant. Value, six out of 10. It's still expensive, but you don't get anything very new.